Hi everyone, I am you Phoenix. How are you getting on? Welcome to the game called West of Loathing. Uh, I don't know much about this. This looks like a Western game, and people told me it's really funny and I should play it. So uh, I'm gonna play it right now. Oh, we can actually shoot these things. <laughs> oh, <laughs> even the tumbleweeds. <laughs> Can we not shoot it down? <laughs> okay, let's just start a new game here. Wanted for protagonism. <laughs> Mabel Cody. Okay. Reward, 733 meat. What's this? Oh, we can hide the score? <laughs> okay. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, we can even need these. Oh, is, are these our characters? Katarina Madsen Marianne Bowie Earl Yates Orson Thompson Burt Mayfield Sylvester Jones What is your name? Oh, what? Can I edit my name? Oh wait, I can <laughs> Enter a first name Oh, it just randomly chooses for us <laughs> Grizzly herb, yeah. Why not? Let's just go with that. <laughs> Here we go. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. Okay. Cow puncher. Bean slinger. What? Snake oiler. What? How? <laughs> How does this even work? Uh, what do we want to be here? Uh, I want to be a snake oiler. Snake oilers rely on their moxie and cuts pad to tame snakes. Their fearlessness to extract potent oils from the snakes and their cleverness to manufacture and sell poisons, potions made from those oils. You've heard snake oilers are doing really well out the west since the cows came home. Everybody needs po potions and hope in these days dark day and hope in these dark days and also west is where all the best snakes live. I want to be a snake oiler. What are you going to be when you grow up? A snake oiler? No way. <laughs> okay. This weird poster appeared here one night. <laughs> oh, can jump to it. Okay. You read the spine of one of your books, The Curse of Skeleton Lighthouse. Ruffus liked this one as much as I did. Read another title, The Curse of Vampire Lighthouse. <laughs> the Adventure of the Haunted Gulch. Kit Swaved in the Black Outhouse. Ada Drew and the Secret of Cabot Lighthouse. Okay. Goodbye, desk. What? You comb your hair one last time. Okay. Music. Get my monograph. Oh. You put the needle away from the cylinder and stow the handle away. <laughs> Let's just leave it on. Hey, yeah, Russell. How are you doing? Caw. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Caw, caw. <laughs> Feed Russell a cricket. Do it. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nusses your hand. Goodbye, Russell. Be good. <laughs> Living room. What a mess. Stack them. We gain XP from that. <laughs> Nothing on the hat rack today. This heart really puts the hearth in hearth and home. Really. You're gonna miss mom's cooking. Oh no. It's mom pie safe. It keeps all our pies safe. <laughs> wow. Oh, what's this? Little brother's room. You, what? What? I said something. No! I missed something. Okay, anyway. It's your kid's brother's toy box. What's inside? Hey, he lost stuff like this. <laughs> I just stole his puzzle cube. Okay. So tidy. You'll miss meals with the family. Oh no. 
your family's farm. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. Present? Yep, it's that book you wanted from Crimbro. I know it's early, but... The one about picking locks? Oh boy. <laughs> the one about desert survival? Oh boy. The one about bathroom? Oh boy. Uh... <laughs> That's the one. Enjoy it. Oh, I just got it right. You got an item. Mind your meat. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, mom. Goodbye. <laughs> Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. Time for me to leave that. His lips quiver a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's briefcase full of snakes. Oh no. <laughs> Thank him. Thanks. Good good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Yeah. Hey, a needle. There was a needle in the haystack. <laughs> your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. <laughs> Hey Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? To help people, to seek my fortune, to get off the stupid farm. Uh, to get off the stupid farm. <laughs> but it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. <laughs> you give him a playful punch on the arm. Leave. <laughs> Anything else I can look at? No time to screw around in the woods. Time to head west. We're going to the Wild West. <laughs> yes. West of Loathing. <laughs> That horse is like looking, what the hell am I doing here? Okay, let's skip. You just skip the credit sequence where your character rode a turnip cart across the Great Plains and into the sleepy town of Boring Springs. Highlights of the trip included... Yeah, oh, I'm sure it was spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> 300 miles is too hard to go on foot, you need a horse. Oh no. Dude! Dude, you're drunk. Back your pardon, mister. A turnip. <laughs> nice. Dang it. Oh, whoops. Yipes. <laughs> DS Horsery. A sign on the road reads, Gone Drinking. Of course. Whoa. Ew. <laughs> Did I just step in horse shit or something? As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door streaks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, Dagnabbit? Well, I... You can't drink in here without a hat. Thank proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. <laughs> he looks through the hat box and finds a better derby. This looks like something you'd wear. Floppy derby. <laughs> you grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, sir. Pete? Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly... Somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller. Yeah? You heading west? If you want some company, it'd be more than happy to come along. Yes, let me know. Well, er, uh, no pressure. Alright, keep it in mind. Split. It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking at it, it's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Should we look in it anyway? <laughs> Yeah, it's full spit, regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and even looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting, and the smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. <laughs> Look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering to a filled and crusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shiny at the bottom? Oh, get it. <laughs> you reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit through a mass squid barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender! <laughs> 
You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes it sound like glop. Your skin is burning, your eyes start to water. Search. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. You got an item, nasty ring. <laughs> Hooray. Okay. I'm glad we went through that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've already plumbed the depths of this platoon in your own depravity. You should be ashamed of yourself. Sorry. Okay, he's sleeping. Hello, sir. Sir, wake up. These guys are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, bit biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Good luck, guys. I don't have any meat yet. <laughs> what you say, Pete? Boo, me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, Dagnabbit. Some metal scallywag sapped my flapjack. <laughs> what? Uh huh. Pete, take a swig of his whiskey. Whiskey. See you later, Pete. Okay. Hello. You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading Reward for lost mugs. 25 meat each. Keep waiting. <laughs> the bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Grizzly. What brings you to our little backwater? Uh, oh, the usual. I came out to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I recommend talking to the railroad people up by the dirt water. Uh, what about the railroad? The Manifest Destiny Railroad Company, from back east. They're trying to run a line to Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. And they're hiring? Oh, I reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company, that. Okay, let's just leave. <laughs> now! What? <laughs> Say, I didn't suppose you could help me with a little goblin problem. Goblin problem? Yeah, one of the cow pokes, cow pokes that came through here from Dirtwater didn't wipe his boots off. And got gold's goblin spores all over... Ah, every damned wear. I thought I'd clean them all up. But I must have missed one in the basement. Sure. I can help with that. Much obliged. <laughs> I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. Weak fungicide. I'll take care of it. So where's the basement? Is this it? Oh. <laughs> what is that? Hello? The goblin shouts, Breach Arc! <laughs> Attack the goblin! Oh no! Are we fighting him now? <laughs> wow, skills. Pistol attack. Costs 1 AP. What? What is an AP? Pistol attack. Okay, let's, let's do a pistol attack. Shoo! <laughs> no! Damn you! Oh, I have one extra point, okay. Snake Whip, you will deal 5 damage and 1 apply point. Pull a snake out of your briefcase and deploy it on your side of the battlefield. Giving it up is the same as losing- No, 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 no. <laughs> Whip it. Holy shit. <laughs> Aha. Oh, this is easy. Oh, wait, what? Won't end your turn. This will deal 25 damage to the target, assuming the target. Yeah, sure. That's. <laughs> Easy enough. Victory. Press any key to. Having dispatched the goblin, will pat yourself on the back for a job well done. <laughs> Anything else in here? A crate of nurse brand whiskey. Good for what else, yeah? Grab a bottle. <laughs> I guess we never established your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is can reach the top of the bar. Oh really? <laughs> you got an item, nurse brand whiskey. Okay, 
Okay, old newspaper. Don't know what's up with that. Let's go back upstairs. Someone playing? Okay, <laughs> let's just leave him alone. Whoops. Should I go? Oh, let me just go. Whoops. Sheriff's Town Trade. Ooh, he has a gun. Damn it, I stepped in horse shit again. Closed. Get lost. Okay. Not allowed in Topeka anymore, remember? No? Why? Some loose dirt. <laughs> okay. What's. Wait, what? He approached the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself. And the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Ellis warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. And that's what they call you, Cactus Bill? No, that's just a coincidence. Oh. <laughs> Does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus? Oh, haha. No, it's actually kinda nice. The natural formation processes inside the cactus part of me keep me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it isn't mind boring. Yeah, I bet. I wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't have to happen in a newspaper or anything, do you? Oh, I do. <laughs> Much obligated, partner. Now let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know. My shovel. I left it behind the outhouse or ore hole mine. It's yours if you can go and get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Behind the outhouse of ore hole mine. Got it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it. Now if you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. Sure. <laughs> Okay, so where's the mine? Oh. Is that even in this town? Nope, that's definitely not inside this town. Can we go into the sheriff's house? <laughs> Howdy stranger, welcome to Boring Springs. I am the sheriff in these parts. What? He sighed. The sheriff, okay. Blasted sign painters. <laughs> Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? Uh, depends on the work. Well, how does this grab you? There's a gang of hoodlums around there. Here. But call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and they took my cell door with him. It ain't, uh, well, it ain't much good without the door. And? And I need somebody tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Uh, why don't you do it? I gotta stay here and practice my chair chipping. <laughs> okay, I'll give it a shot. Funny you would say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. He takes the pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. <laughs> deputy? You're new in town, maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except drinking. Here, let me write down here. Let me write down where the fr Fricker Gang's hideout is for you. Okay, got it. I'll be back at the door. How do I see the? Oh, here I do. Oh, I can just go there. Whoops. Let me go back. Let's go back into the bar. Can we talk to him. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. We all heard this. Oh, okay. I can't actually talk to him. No. Hawk. No, no, I don't want to look in the spit thing again. Nope, I don't have any meat, or not enough at least. Inventory. I have the pistol now. Whoops. I took care of that goblin. Thank you kindly, Grizzly. I knew you was a stand-up fellow that moment you walked in here. He reaches under the bar and grabs a bag of meat. Here you go, it's the least I can do by the way of thanks. You tip your head to the bartender. Who's this fella at the bar next to me? Well, might be you should ask him that yourself, seeing as he's right here, he won't bite you. <laughs> okay. Uh, just thought I'd say howdy. Well, the mission accomplished, I reckon. Okay. Howdy, I'm Grizzly. Howdy, Grizzly. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. Uh... 
I don't know why that is. <laughs> I'm the town horse selling guy. Oh, gotcha. I'll start working out for you. Oh, th those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming. Nice. Now, I mean, the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh, is that why you're drinking here instead? Yep. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how to keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of a boring one. But it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. Hold on a minute here. Oh, let me see at the settings. Uh, music is a bit loud. Show combat crit nerd mode. This plays a lot describing what happens in combat. Provides a few other pieces of meta game information. But changes the type of the game to aerial. Please don't do this. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> That's not. Save inventory options. Remember your inventory filtering and sorting options instead of defaulting to everything and new. Colorblind mode. You never know. But hold on a minute. There's no color in this game. <laughs> this, this doesn't make any sense. Okay. Okay, so I have 200 meat now. Who are you? Okay. Let me ask him who the lady is. That's Susie, she's a rancher from nearby, a real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Why's that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent up frustrations about it. Ouch. Okay. Actually, wait a minute, we can now just play with them? Can I play? They yeah, look at you nervously. <laughs> look, I have some meat, let's play. You put 20 meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. One of them shovels the cards, sloppily. And deals new round. You get a pair of tents, plus a two, a three, and a king. Uh, bet conservatively, bet aggressive, bet crazily, bet crazily. Sweat gushes from their face, and these read to how to play poker card again. But so eventually, they both add 20 meat to the plot. Okay, read them and weep. You sell your pair of tents, plus two, three, king. The guy on the left has a full house. Fuck. And the guy on the right, someone got a straight flush. <laughs> I win! You explain that checks are worth 9 points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points, and the guy on the right 20, and you're 25, plus a king. They squint at the rules again, but eventually struck and not at you. You collect your winnings and stand up. The guys thank you for helping them learn the game. Wow! <laughs> Great job! <laughs> I just said that I won even though I clearly lost. Fuck. 1000 meat. 1000? Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? Can you sell me a horse? Horses get mighty attached to their riders. Once you've bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. Sounds fine. So I'm sell you my least interesting horse. He costs 1000 meat. Wretch. I don't have that much meat. <laughs> I'll come back when I get some dough. What a weird horse. Look how long his body is. What does he have to offer? Step right up, step right up. Braids the name and trades the game. You seriously doubt this that his name is Braid? <laughs> Howdy. What are you trading? Well sir, today I'm trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. Ooh, that's nice. And to the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well to that adventurous soul I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. I'll take some dynamite for this needle. Okay, nice. Okay, so I can just go to this place. Is this a good thing? No, don't go back. Can I take my gun out? <laughs> He's sleeping. That Fricker, the Fricker's gang interpret lookout, appears to be taking a little nap. Just shoot him. That doesn't seem very sportsmanlike. You sure you want to do that? Yes. Really? You're just going to gun down a hapless sleeping man in cold blood? Cold is the only blood I have. Shoot him. He's just a kid. Everybody dies. Pull the trigger. Dang partner. You got a perk. Ruthless. <laughs> I 
just shot him. What's this? It's a beer barrel cactus. Can't even harvest it. It's a pile of random stuff the finger gang stole. I got it. Whoops. One of the Frigger's boys is dozing in a bathtub. Drown him, tie him up, can you pass the soap? <laughs> let's do that, let's see what happens. He mumbles and hands you a bar of soap before sinking deeper into both sleep and the tub. What? It works? You cautiously approach the Frigger gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and eavesdrops on their conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather that his name is Snipe. And that the squirrely one is rather wimpy. What's your play here? Approaching them and talk. Howdy boys, steal me in. The one without the eye patch raises an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past that and Soapy? What do you want? I'm here for the... Sheriff's door. I'll show you the door. The door to hell! He draws his gun. Okay then, a fight it is. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Throw the dynamite at him. Boom. And he died. Okay, let's just shoot him. Pew. Oh, he died. That was easy. <laughs> In one turn. Time to recover the sheriff's door. There's a mug. I have a mug. A pile of the figure's ill-gotten gains. What a haul. It's the sheriff's door. <laughs> How did I just pick that up? And why did I leave it? I'm a stick man. I have no places to hide stuff. What am I doing? Wait, what? When I just stand, he does a... Does he do a handstand again? Let me see. Do it again. Oh. This time he just swings around the lamp. Okay, here we go. Let's just leave again. Make your own damned guide to Boring Springs and its environs. Okay, let's go back to the sheriff and say actually that he's done. I see the figure gang has, hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? You hand the sheriff his door and he hangs it back on his hinges. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got about four times more secure. <laughs> are there any fricker boys left for me to round up? Yeah, one or two that are asleep on the job. I'll go round them up shortly then. Looks like I owe you a reward. 400 meat. Got another little task for you here. If you got the time. What you need? Well, the figures busted the lock, and when they locked the door, gonna need a little lock. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, right. Didn't the trade guy have one? Howdy. I'll trade this soap for a lock. Thanks. Easy. Here you go. That'll do nicely. The sheriff puts the lock on the cell door, then accidentally drops the key and it clatters into the cell. <laughs> Hellfire! Don't you suppose now to pick a lock, stranger? You got a needle handy. Are we able to get some... Yeah, I'm not sure how to. Cell door is locked. Oh, I need a needle now. It's a chunk of wood from the approaching hitching path. Okay. Don't know why I need that yet. Can I hick? I said, can I? Oh, what? What do you say? You're watching, buddy. That's enough for today, I think. Uh, <laughs> this game. I'm not sure what to think of it yet, actually. We'll see if I do another episode of it or not. Anyway, this was you, Phoenix. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe now for more videos to come. Until then, be brave, be kind, and stay awesome. <laughs>